Good morning students. I hope you and your family are enjoying good health. I am your English teacher and today I will be delivering my third lecture of English language. As we have completed our first chapter from students book, so we will be going to start our workbook today. Students, this is your English language workbook. I hope all of you are having this. So moving back to our today's topic, which is from our first chapter, my family and me. Vocabulary 1, question number 1. Complete the sentence with the word to do with family. I have already solved this question for you all. In this exercise, you have to identify the relationship you have with these characters. I'll read few of them. Fiona is my mother's sister. She is my aunt. My brother is Megan's husband. She is my sister-in-law. In question number two, look at the photo, read the blog, then complete the words. You have to fill these blanks with the help of this picture. They have already given you an alphabet to identify the word. So the first alphabet is basically your hint. Try to solve this exercise by yourself. I will upload the answer key in my next lecture. You will complete this exercise in the same way as I have solved exercise 1. Now moving on question number 3. Read the block again. Draw Amy's family tree. In question number 3, you are going to draw a family tree of Amy's family. As you have drawn in your assignment about your own family. Language focus 1. Just already still yet. You can find this exercise on page number 8. You are going to complete your this question with the help of my lecture 1 about just till already yet. In that lecture, we had discussed about a small conversation. Similarly, you are going to solve this conversation with the help of four adverbs just already still and yet. Moving back on our second question. Question number two, write sentence or question, use the present perfect. And you are going to solve your question number two with the help of present perfect. If the sentence, if in your sentence they have shown or given you a question mark in the last of your sentence, you are going to mark a question. And if there is a full stop, you will be going to make a sentence. I am going to read few of them. Number one is Farhan already take his maths test. Farhan has already taken his maths test. As the same way you are going to solve your other questions or other sentences. Question number three. Correct the sentence with the wrong word. They have given you some of the sentences which is not correct you have you will be going to correct your sentence by using just still already and yet in these questions only one three and six sentences are correct you are going to solve other now moving to words our third topic which is on page number nine vocabulary two family values question number one read the clues Complete the crossword puzzle with adjective to do with family values. I have solved this crossword puzzle for your convenience and I will read first two of them. One is Emily is always thinking about how other people might feel. The number one answer is considerate. Number two. Tofik doesn't always agree with people, but he is always polite to them. So answer must be respectful. Now you must have understood the way of solving the crossword puzzle. You can fill the remaining by the help of the clues given. Now question number two. 
You are going to solve this text by the help of question number 1. Read the text carefully and fill the suitable words from question number 1. Exercise 3. Read the situation. Complete the sentences describing the values the people need to learn. In this question, every student will solve this question individually in his own words. Reminder, this is your homework for today. Now you will be going to complete the exercise on page number 5, 8 and 9. This is all for today. I will catch you in the next lecture. Till then, take care of yourself. Stay home, stay safe. Thank you.